Okay, so this is the original homework file. First thing we're going to do is go to Miss uh, Data Utilities, Missing Data Handling. Going to select from that cell to this one. Okay, so all these we're going to delete records if there is a uh, missing data. Click apply this option, then OK. And from here, oops, oops again. Here, there, you'll see there's 206, which is what we got the first time. Same, same result. It was just a lot easier to do it this way. We want to do data reductions in exploration, hierarchical clustering. We don't want the categorical variables in there, just, just these. Form standard clustering. Next. Normalize Euclidean distance, complete linkage. Clusters. Uh, we had said nine. Let's just do eight. Um, it's a little less work. The less clusters we have, the, the less work it actually is. But eight or nine is fine. The dendrogram is always going to look like this. Always. Uh, even if we put 8 or 9 or 10 or however many clusters. Uh, we want to go to predicted clusters. And here it shows us a maximum of 8 clusters. And it puts each school uh, row ID, which correlates to school, uh, puts them in, into a cluster. So what we want to do, right-click cluster ID, go to filter, and filter by selected cells value. That way we can click here, say I click this, one, then okay. These are all the schools that are in cluster one. So what we want to do then is uh, get the averages. So equals average parentheses. And I'm going to select that to that. Gives me an average. Actually, let me just do that faster. I do that right? Okay. Is that really right? It doesn't seem right, but I guess it is. Okay, so these are the averages. If, if you notice I've made a mistake, please let me know, but it, it looks like those are the correct averages. We want to take a um, copy them to a new, so let's say cluster one. Not sure how to copy this, but basically we want to to take all these values. These are the 
pretty much the, the summary data thingamajigs for for cluster one. Then we want to do the same thing for cluster two. So once again, equals average And I'm going to copy that and paste it on all these other ones. And now we have the summary data for all these. So now what the question wants us to, to do is to describe it. Um, so for cluster two, we can write that they receive around 3,000 applicants, the new students enrolled are around 825 and so forth. We have to do that for for all of them. Um, can you think of other external information that explains the content of some of these clusters? Uh, an example of that would be say we notice that in cluster 2 the the room and board is really cheap. And then we notice also that all these schools are in Texas. Then we can write um, that an external, some of the external information that would explain that would be Texas has a very low cost of living. Oh, also something I don't know how to do that I need uh, your help on. Um, row ID so that we don't have to check up like what state and school this is. Does anyone know how to link this up? The TA said that there was a way to to match this row ID with over here and like cross reference them so that it it shows up like over here to the right. It would say like Texas. If that was a school in Texas that way it, it takes up less time and we can make those assumptions a lot quicker. Um, and anyway, so once we get all this data, we're supposed to take this all and put it like just on one page and compare it to Tufts universities just visually. Just visually compare it and see which one uh, which one has like the closest, which, which um, cluster has the closest uh, stats to Tufts.